Hello, welcome back. Now today I'm doing something a bit different to normal. I'm going to be doing a bit of mail opening. <laughs> mail opening. Envelopes. So every year my dad sends me something from CAFOD. It's a, it's a, it's a charity thing. It is a, um, a, a gift that he pays for, which then goes from this country to a country, a, 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 a third world country, and then the family receives this gift and I am sent the card of, uh, and it has a picture of what it is and the family that it got sent to. I think, I think it's a family, it probably isn't even the family, it's probably just a generic picture, but it's still a really cool cause and if you want to give money to CAFOD then I'm going to put the phone number in the description below because it's a great cause and you should go and do that. So like I said, every single year Dad sends me something and it's normally, <laughs> it's normally an animal or it's, I mean, last year it wasn't even an animal, it was, it was water. I gave water to a family in Africa, and yeah, I, I just, I just hope they didn't die from lack of water. Quite a nice envelope, obviously, it's Father Brown's handwriting with my address on there. Don't look, because I don't want you looking where I live. But yeah, this is all the way from Plymouth. Um, oh, if you can see that, there was dust came off the envelope as I opened it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Aha! <laughs> the moment of truth. What have I got this year? A special Christmas gift. It's so cute. Little, little Jesus. Jesus is black in this. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a black Jesus, but yeah. Colour Jesus. Colour everything. And the pig. Look at the pig and the sheep. Such a wonderful thing. <gasps> no! Look at this. We have four goats. They are a hope for my family. Previously, during the very bad months, we used to go hungry, but now we have been blessed with enough food. Abiba. Abiba? Abiba. Ethiopia. Abiba and her family live in southern Ethiopia, an area plagued by severe droughts. In the past, the family has had to rely on handouts, but thanks to support from Kafod, Kafod, Go and donate, wonderful cause. Abida and her husband can provide for their family all year round. With Kafad's help, she was originally given two goats, but the nanny goat recently gave birth to two kids. Goats are the perfect livestock for many families living in rural areas. They are relatively easy to look after and can provide up to 12 point, points, <laughs> pints of nutritious milk a week. As Abida has discovered, they breed quickly, and with her herd has grown... When her herd has grown a little more, Abida hopes to sell a few goats so she can buy an oxen to farm her land because the goats aren't good enough so she wants an oxen. The goat that gives. Not only can a goat provide a family with 12 pints of milk a week, which they can drink or sell, it will also produce free fertilizer that can be used to help grow crops. Ah, uh, to Dan. Merry Christmas. Lots of love. God bless Dad. See you soon. Yeah, I'm gonna be seeing Father Brown soon. And there's my goat. <laughs> there's obviously, yeah. And there's a picture of Abida, a a, a Abiba, a from Ethi Ethiopia, and her goats. So yeah, this year's gift um to the family was a goat. So Father Brown got me a goat. Last year it was water. The year before that it was a pig. And I'm not gonna lie, I, I am, um, I'm happy. But one day. I'd like one of those goats. Next year I'd rather have the goat myself because it's upsetting because I want the goat's milk. I'm joking obviously. I'm not I'm not I'm not like that, but not openly. I mean, <laughs> like I said Cafford's a great cause. So if you want to donate money or um give uh, give something like this to someone, uh the the animal donation thing, um the phone number's going to be in the description below with the website details so you can go and follow that up and do that. But it's a great cause and I am I'm very supportive of charities that do stuff like that because regardless of how much we actually see take place in that country, it's still it's still a good cause and to think that you are contributing to the welfare of a family who is struggling is a nice thought. So yeah, see you soon. This has been the Posh Wagon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>